Western Baguette with 12 laps remaining. And we have our 10th different leader, our 22nd lead change, a race car driver from Belgium. Take another look. Oh, my. Totally nothing to do with P.J. Buckman lost it getting in the corner and took him with him. Unfortunate. So remember, he's running in dirty air with that pack of car in front, and one of those cars was actually Jeff Simmons. So those three or four cars that are in front, all that turbulent air that comes off there makes your car not handle very well. You can see right at the middle of the turn where the G-force is, the load on the car is the highest, is where the car lost grip, and it went up into the wall. Here we go again from a bit further back. You can see how the car does a 180 and continues and hits the wall. And what ends up happening is P.J. Chesson is just along the ride because he gets taken out in that accident. We have may do the impossible. In fact, he has. Jim Guthrie has taken the win. Another new winner in the IRL. And he's made the final left turn before the Indy 500. Just pace car speed, pace car speed. And it's Christmas in June for Dale Coyne. <laughs> Unbelievable. Remember, Carlos started on the 10th row of this race. He was he a first time winner in the Verizon IndyCar series, and it's a Colombian 1 and 2 with Juan Pablo oh, yeah, Montoya go, stepping First back on the podium. How about that? Young and Dale, you just had enough time to say great job. You put both your cars out in the front, you took a gamble for Justin, it didn't work, but boy, did it play for Carlos. It worked out great. You know, Justin needed one more yellow a little bit earlier. And we knew that was going to be close, but we thought Carlos was in a really good spot. The kid's been doing better all year, and he showed he, sometimes you put a guy in the front, and he can stay in the front. The entrance to pit lane, it was scary. All right, take another look, because, oh, he had brushed the wall coming out, and then comes across the track and tags the inside wall on pit lane. Oh, took out the speed limit. Oh, that'll make everybody happy. Who sees the on-track activity. Oh, look at that! The and left Greg car. Ray and Eddie Cheever are both involved. And I don't know who the third car was that Greg Ray went to the inside of down the back stretch. Here it is once again. There's the contact. And right into the path of Eddie Cheever goes Robbie McGee. And oh boy, did Scott Sharp get lucky to get through there unscathed. First of all, Nelson Philippe got off track at turn number four. But he was able to continue from that incident. 11 minutes later, he did the same thing, but the car stayed on the track. E.J. Viso comes to the hill, clipped him. But then Will Power comes over the hill and makes heavy contact with the right side of Nelson Philippe's car. Listen to the throttle when he goes through top gear. And the big bang. You heard him get off the throttle before he actually steered the car. He knew something was going on. 